Hi guys, my name is Ipi Oliwa and welcome to the first episode, I mean the first episode on Niger Things Connect on Proudly Nigerian TV, like I'm super excited. So drum roll please. <laughs> okay, today with me, I have a beautiful, beautiful lady, like exquisite, you know, the first people say exquisite. <laughs> okay, I am Vibrant Phantom herself. Okay, so let me say hi to yourself. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my name is Ejo Jennifer Ankechi. Oh, yeah, Vibrant Phantom. <laughs> and I must say thank you very much. You okay, know. my pleasure. My pleasure. Okay, on today's episode, we'll be talking about a topic that is very, very sensitive. So the topic is boundaries and how to set boundaries as a teenager. Boundaries and how to set boundaries as a teenager. You know, they say it's part of the world that we are, there's no boundaries, we don't have respect for each other's private space. So, Miss Jenny will be shedding more light on it. So, Miss Jenny, by Rand Phantom. <laughs> so, what are boundaries? Hmm, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Okay, boundaries. Boundary is a very broad word, it covers different and every aspect of the um, for, for the definition of the word boundary, let me try to limit. Limit. Um, demarcation. Okay, let me now use. Um, okay, it's just like the North Korea and the South Korea, they are borderline here. Now, a North soldier will not cross over to the other side, yes. and the South soldier will not come over to the other side. Yes. Because if they try that, they are crossing each other's boundaries. Mm, I see what you did there. <laughs> But okay. also as adults in our career, in our marriages, in everything, there has to be boundaries in the family with your friends. You have to set boundaries. So you are basically talking about principles. Yes, principles that um, we set upon ourselves. Principles that we set upon other people. Oh, okay. Not just ourselves. Not just ourselves. Okay. You can go out. Okay. okay. Let me see. Okay. Types of boundaries. Yes, Let me go exactly. Let me go down. Okay. 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 <laughs> we are seeing you. <laughs> Imagine I want to lose weight and I decide that okay, I notice that I'm taking too much packing things like oil and flour and all of those things that your health doctor will tell you that you should not try it. Now I want to set a boundary upon the way I eat. Okay. Okay, once it's five, I'm not getting that it's not water or food. Now that's the boundary. That's personal boundary now. Now, when it comes to setting boundaries on your friends, on your family. There are various types of boundaries. Yeah, there are various types. There's a physical boundary. This one talks about how you respond to people coming into your personal space. Okay. How you respond to people touching you. No. How you are you comfortable? Okay. Yeah. How are you comfortable with greeting someone? Do you like there's some people that they see someone and just go hi and they go hug yeah, you. Now true. most people will take that from their friends, but definitely they won't take that from someone that they don't really have a rapport with. Yes, there's that one too. Then this personal space room, that's also all that physical boundary. Okay. It's not everyone that you let into your room. Yes. yes. It's not there are some friends that you won't even allow to come to your room. Yes. While some 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 I know of some elder people that they don't allow their younger ones, their younger sisters exactly. and their younger brothers to come into their room. room. They are setting boundaries. Okay. Don't enter my room. Don't call me that. Don't go into my room. Yes. That's then there is emotional boundary. Emotional boundaries. That um, how you share, who you share your emotions, your feelings with. Your feelings with. Now, let's say you have ten friends. Okay. And it's not everything that you can share with all ten of them. At some point, there are some things that you can tell to out of. That okay. then, then you cannot tell the remaining eight. That's true. Yes. Now, that goes in two ways. You've also said you've set a boundary on yourself that um, I don't want to discuss anything that has to do with my family or how I feel about my family. They're my friends, so I love them, I trust them. Or there's just boundaries. Yes. boundaries. They, they probably don't get you like the other two. That's just it. And then there's um, social media boundaries. There's gadget boundaries. As students, it's very important that we know how to. Because you 
find out that 80% of the time, of our time, is on social media. Or games. Or games. For more as well. And we should set boundaries on all those things. Because the thing is, boundaries helps us to earn self respect. It helps us to earn self respect. So, is there anything like healthy boundaries? Yes, of course. There are some boundaries that um, this is like being over the top. So, setting setting boundaries upon yourself or upon someone that maybe is your friend, your friend, and um, you are okay. A type that I don't mention material boundary. Okay, so imagine you're the kind of person that um you don't really like people touching your things because I know I used to. I'm I'm yes, I, know. <laughs> yes, I, know. I don't really like people touching my things. <laughs> Probably because I grew up with the only one, the only those things. So yeah. I didn't really have younger ones to share with. So I can share now, but just not thinking without my permission. But then, when you set the boundaries that does not allow your friend to have access to any of your things, and then that friend allows you to have access to their things. That is like an alien. That is definitely not healthy at all. It's yeah, not right. It's not. It's not right. nice. If you're going to set a boundary, set it on what you are yourself. Okay, I'm not allowing you to touch your thing. Okay, you are not touching your thing. That's it. Okay. And healthy boundary, of course, normal things like okay, I'm not gonna do this, so you won't do this. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I don't like it when you touch me like this. So, if anybody that is reasonable and understands should know that okay this is what this person this is how this person views this yes. and should respect now we should learn to respect our boundaries and other yeah, people's boundaries. boundaries exactly that way uh, that would be sweet mm -hmm. if everybody knew how to stay in their, their own lane. lane if you stay in your own lane you will be no problem hmm. There you have it, guys, from Vibrant Phantom. Like she said, they are healthy boundaries. Don't go and be acting like an alien. They are healthy boundaries. So, guys, let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay, and we are back, guys. You can see the topic is really sensitive. So, Miss Jennifer, so, um, I was wondering, how do you set boundaries and when is it necessary to set a boundary? Okay, okay. How to set boundaries? Now, most importantly, you must first of all realize where in your area, like where, what, which area in your life do you need to set boundaries? Okay. Okay, right now, am I struggling with anything physically? Mm. Is it like, do I have to set any boundary for anybody in my life right now? That, okay, when it comes to this girl, don't talk to too much. Okay, this maybe this friend of mine, or this friend of my friend, okay. or maybe this family member, or this family friend is touching me in a way that I don't like. Should I set a boundary on it? And how do I set a band that kind of boundary in a way that it's not look like I'm being disrespectful? Okay. In a way that it won't be unhealthy both for me or for the person or for the third party that will be seeing that boundary and be like, ah, she's being too unreasonable. Do you understand? That's the first thing. You must first of all know where you need to set your boundaries. What area of my life do I need to curb the way I spend money? Do I spend lavish? Do I need to curb it? That is number one. Then for two, number two ways of setting boundaries is number one. Set boundaries that are navigated towards your goal in life oh, okay sure you understand okay, let's say now that um what example should i use let's say that for example now you are a teenager that is preparing to write jam or okay. to enter into the university now you should set boundaries on the amount of time that you spend on tv or on social media okay okay you know that one now is <laughs> you are targeting where sure you are going, and you know that <laughs> for a child to be on his or her phone from morning till night, and in one month or a few weeks you have exam, exactly. definitely you need a boundary. Then mm -hmm. it's very important. Then number two, number three, that's number two. Number three, 
Don't be too harsh. Be compassionate. Be accountable for yourself. But also be a compassionate. Be compassionate. Yes. But what I mean there is, um, in simple English, it is if I set a boundary that by 9.30 I am going to drop my phone and go to bed and then for like two weeks straight by 11 p.m. <laughs> I'll still on my phone. You don't like you know, you know, there's a way that we ourselves yes. judge ourselves. Oh, I knew, I knew I could not do it. I knew it was not possible. I can't just, I just drop my phone, all those stuff. No, be compassionate with the way that you make yourself accountable to how you set your boundaries. Really? So, when is it necessary to set boundaries? At any point in life. Okay, look at when I gave the, uh, the example of uh, that child that is studying for example. Yes. At that point, you need to set boundaries. You yourself, when you know, okay, which takes it back to point one, when you know which area in your life needs boundary set, you will know when it's important. And lastly for our, don't put so many boundaries at the same time. Don't set so many boundaries at the same time. Like, okay, so before the beginning of this year, I told myself that I was going to start daily exercising. Okay. <laughs> and we entered May. And one day like this, <laughs> I have not even lifted up my hands for anything. I have not done anything. Now, what I did was, um, I actually downloaded an app on my phone that helps me to stick to any plan or anything I want like, to do for 21 days. Wow. So, I started this new one. And um, on all of that stuff, it was exercise. One feature of the on the app is exercising. So there are so many things. There's emotional blah blah blah. So many things on the way you eat your food or taking care of your wardrobe. Okay. Blah, blah. So many features there. But I could have said, okay, I want to do all of them at the same time. Exactly. No, no, no. no. So I picked one. Exactly. You focus on step at one. a time. Because if you have so many areas in your life that you want to do, as you said, it's just like you become. Jack of all trades, master of none. So I set one boundary at a time. Okay, guys, there you have it. Set one boundary at a time. Okay, guys, let's go for a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. I hope you are enjoying Ninja Things Connect NTC with. Vibrant Phantom herself. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, Miss Jenny, mm -hmm. so you think setting boundaries between my friends and I of the opposite sex is important? Of course, it is. Wow. Okay. Yes. In what aspect? <laughs> Basically, yeah, all aspects. Okay. okay. You are a female, now. yes, and you are talking about setting boundaries with your friend, which is a guy. Yes. Definitely. Um. Okay. Let's start now with friends. You know that there are different criteria to friendship. Yes. Some people don't like with everything other friends, but there are friends, close friends, best friends, mm -hmm. family friends, mm -hmm. different different kinds Level of friends. friends. Yes. <laughs> so now there are some ways that you relate to your family friend that you will not relate to friends. Yes, there are some true. ways you relate to your best friend that your close friend cannot even come to this. Yes. Definitely. And definitely, as an opposite sex, there is a way that you will relate, relate to your close friend that is a girl that you won't relate to your close friend that is a guy. Yes, that's true. First of all, let's talk about, okay, earlier on I mentioned different types of boundaries. So let's say I'm picking the physical boundary. That means, do I like to this person? You can see your girl be like, oh, are you hug, and you jump, and you do. Mm -hmm. like that. But we don't have to take guys. Definitely not. Yes, that's that's true. Okay. okay, let's say emotional boundary. Now, emotional boundary is who you share your emotions with. What is going your through feelings. your mind, your yes. feelings. Now, girls talk. Mm -hmm. Can you have a girls talk with a guy? No, it's not possible actually. So definitely, it is a yes. Mm -hmm. There are some things that you discuss with your female friend. Okay, let me say. Um, 
all of a sudden you're having menstrual cramps and stuff like that and you can discuss that type of thing with the girl but one fact she's just like you she goes yes. through it so oh, she will understand better yes. the guy might not really understand and you might even feel awkward telling this guy that mm-hmm. you're know, my period or stuff like that so definitely yes, okay, yes. That's, that's, true. that's true that's true so a question popped into my mind can a 13 year old be friends with a 19 year old notwithstanding the gender the kind of friendship that I see happening between a 13 year old and a 19 year old is big brother friendship mm-hmm. or big sister that friendship. Is. Yes, because what common ground do they have? Nothing actually. They don't really. A 13 year old, she just finished being 12. Yes. She probably yes. dreams about unicorns and stuff. <laughs> 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 and a 19 year old has experienced a lot. Like, most of them are already in. So I cannot, I won't use friends because number one, they can't go to the movies together, they won't have the same business. it's not possible unless they like animation. That's true, mm-hmm. that's true. You can find a common ground yeah, in exactly. animation, yeah, exactly. or maybe I can't even encourage the 13 year old to like watch horror, horror. <laughs> maybe they like horror. But being friends, I can't call it being friends if we define what friendship is. Then there is definitely no way that a 30 year old can be friends right. with a 19 year old. I need to be caught. Yeah, there is friends. <laughs> okay, okay, so guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for coming on the first episode of Niger Things Connect. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, okay, guys, much. so this comes to an end of the first episode of NTC Niger Things Connect. Okay guys, thank you. So if you want to follow us on our Instagram page or subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can do that at Proudly Nigeria TV. Or you want to follow your girl, you know, your girl, you can follow me on Instagram at ifolua underscore NTC. So Jenny, you want to oh okay on Instagram it is vibrant underscore phantom <laughs> see that nickname <laughs> vibrant phantom Direct. okay guys so till i see you next time stay cool guys bye, bye.